Hey everyone, this is Tony Features Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to forward a domain name that you own with Google Domains. Now, just so we're all on the same page, what do I mean by forward a domain? Well, the proper term for this is redirect. So basically, let's say you own example.com, and when somebody goes to you know, www.example.com in a web browser, instead of going to that website, they'll be redirected or forwarded to another website. So there's a couple options that we have to configure within the Google Domains dashboard. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and hop on into the, the tutorial here. So um, let's go here, I'm at domains.google. I'm gonna go to my domains. And I have a few domain names here. Uh, once this page loads and the one that we're going to be working with today is cat me club but before we actually go through the process of setting that up i just want to show you what it looks like when it's completed so down here i already have a forwarding set up for uh this this micro dot domains um domain name so let's take a look at what that looks like so, so when i click on here you'll see that this is already set up to forward from when somebody goes to uh, the micro symbol dot domains or www dot the micro symbol dot domains, they're going to be forwarded to this address. And this does have SSL turned on, which allows this to uh, either be, you know, an HTTP or an HTTPS forwarding. So basically, if somebody goes to HTTPS colon slash slash www dot the micro symbol dot domains, they will still be forwarded to this address. And let's just try that out. So if we copy this and open up a new web browser or a tab here, hit enter, you'll see that we'll redirect it to micro dot domains, the micro spelled out. And we can try that HTTPS colon slash slash, and then uh, let's try it without www this time, see if it still forwards us. And it does. So let's go, now Now that we all know how this works, uh, let's sh let me show you how to set it up for yourself. So find in your Google Domains panel, uh, the domain name that you're gonna work with. Like I said, we're gonna do this with catme.club. So let's click on that and you would think that this is under the DNS section, but you actually have to go to the website section and you'll have a couple options here. One of them is for domains. So let's click on that. And here is where we're gonna configure some of those options. So forwarding from catme.club and www.catme.club. If you have something else like another subdomain that you wanna to forward to, go ahead and add that in. Uh, what I'm gonna to forward to is this page on my tonyflorida.com website. So let's take a look at what that looks like just so uh, we're all on the same page here. It's just a bunch of uh, swimming related blog posts. Um, so that's the destination. And if we expand these advanced options, what it, so basically there's two different redirects from a technical perspective. One of them is a temporary redirect. One of them is a permanent redirect. My recommendation would be, I guess if it is a temporary thing that you're just setting up on your website, then go with the temporary redirect. But I think more for um, SEO purposes, a permanent redirect might be better, especially if this is a, a long-term or a permanent thing. So what I'm gonna do is click on permanent redirect. And this is this is a cool part, uh, path forwarding. So you know if somebody goes to catme.club slash something, literally S-O-M-E-T-H-I-N-G, uh, they will tack on something to the uh, the end of the, the whole URL here. Uh, I don't want that in my case, but there is that option if you wanna forward the path as well. And now here, this last part is the SSL. So if you want somebody to start with, you know, typing in their web browser, HTTPS or HTTP, you wanna have SSL on. And I think that's always a good idea, especially if your destination website uh, has HTTPS enabled. So I'm gonna click on the SSL option on and then click on forward to enable this. Um, this will take a couple seconds to get set up um, and we can we can test it out. But th the one thing, the one gotcha that I noticed with this is if you go to the DNS section, like everything looks good from this perspective, but if you go to the DNS section, it's just good to check um, down here under the synthetic records, you get this, I've seen this pretty consistently. It says the synthetic record has an error and will not function correctly. The SSL certificate for this domain hasn't been created yet. This process may take up to 24 hours to complete. So the reason we're seeing that is because we had the SSL option on and basically for, I don't wanna to get too technical, but basically for 
HTTPS redirects to work, there has to be some, you know, synthetic HTTPS record that's uh, set up. So um, we will try it out. We'll try out non-HTTPS and we'll try out HTTPS uh, just to show you what that works looks like. But uh, we'll probably have to wait here for this to, to finish. Um, so let's try it out. Let's go to catme.club, hit enter. And uh, that's not even set up yet. So maybe, uh, let me try it in a guest window. We might have to pause the video here. Yeah, so let's, uh, th this because of this error, um, and it's not really an error, it's just like a, a warning, uh, things are still happening in the background. So let's give it a, a few minutes. I'll let you know how long it takes until everything starts to work. So I'll pause the video and then catch up with you when everything's working and in place. Okay guys, I'm back and it's literally less than 15 minutes later uh, and I think things are working the way they should be. I've tested it out. So um, we, I didn't refresh this page, but I believe when we refresh this page, this message will go away. So let's do that. And we should see now that the HTTPS synthetic record has been set up. Uh, let's confirm that though. We'll go down here and yes, it has. So basically this is what we're looking at. Uh, we're forwarding catme.club, www.catmeclub with and without HTTPS to this uh, URL. Okay, so let's uh, test that out in a web browser. If we open up a guest window, just so there's no caching issues, if we go to capme.club, hit enter, that's gonna take us to that page that we wanted to go to, tonyflurida.com slash category slash swimming. And then I'll get back out of here, open up another guest window, avoid any caching issues. We'll do HTTPS colon slash slash. And let's just throw in a www.capme.club and this redirect works as well. Guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this from me in the future, definitely consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.